Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn how to find values of other five trigonometric functions when one trigonometric function value is given. You observe this problem. In this problem, they given cos x equal to minus one by two, and they are saying that x lies in third quadrant. Then they are asking you to find values of other five trigonometric functions. So first I'll write the given information. Given cos x equal to minus one by two, and they are saying that x lies in third quadrant. Now first I'll consider a right angle triangle like this. Now I considered a right angle triangle ABC. I'll consider this angle as x. Okay, cos x is adjacent side by hypotenuse. Here we know that opposite to right angle is hypotenuse. Opposite to this x is opposite side, and this one is the adjacent side. Cos x means adjacent side by hypotenuse. Which one is adjacent side here? This is adjacent side. Here you do not write minus one because length of a side is always positive. Forget about this minus. You just write one. Okay. Cos x is adjacent side by hypotenuse. What is hypotenuse? The side opposite to 90 degrees is hypotenuse. So here in the question only they given cos x is minus one by two. So here adjacent side side is always positive. So we write one only divided by hypotenuse is two. Now we'll try to find other side in this right angle triangle by using Pythagoras theorem. We know that in Pythagoras theorem square of hypotenuse equal to Sum of squares of other two sides. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. AC square, AC is two. AC square is four equal to AB square. AB is one. One square is one plus BC square. Actually, you want to find BC value. So BC square equal to you take one to this side. Four minus one is three. What is BC? BC equal to plus or minus root three, but BC means distance between the points. Distance between the points is always positive, so we take BC as root three. So now we came to know all the three sides of a right angle triangle. Now you can easily write remaining all trigonometric function values. As they mention, x lies in third quadrant. In previous classes, we learned that in third quadrant, tan x, cot x are positive. Remaining all trigonometric functions are negative. So, in the question, they mention x lies in third quadrant. In third quadrant, tan x value, cot x value are positive. Remaining all trigonometric function values are negative. Okay. Now, I'll try to write all other remaining five trigonometric functions. Sine x. Sine x is defined as opposite side by hypotenuse. In this diagram, what is the opposite side? Opposite side is root three divided by what is the hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is two. Now it's time to write the sine. X lies in which quadrant? Third quadrant. Third quadrant sine x is what? Third quadrant sine x is negative. Tan x cot x only positive. Remaining all are negative. So sine x is negative. So you write minus here. Okay. After sine x, cos x already given in the question. Now it's time to find tan x. Tan x. As per the definition, tan x is defined as opposite side by adjacent side. Opposite side is root three. You look here. Opposite is root three. Adjacent side is one. Opposite side by adjacent side. Now it's time to write the sine. As x lies in third quadrant, in third quadrant tan is positive, so tan x is plus root three only. Root three divided by one is nothing but root three only. Now I'll write cot x. As per the definition, cot x is defined as adjacent side by opposite side. Adjacent side is what? Adjacent side is one divided by opposite side is what? Opposite to x is root three. Cot x is positive or negative? As they mention, x lies in third quadrant. In third quadrant, cot x is positive. So here we'll write plus sign only. That is, cot x is one divided by root three. Now we will learn about cosecant x value. Cosecant x. As per the definition, cosecant x defined as a hypotenuse divided by opposite side. Hypotenuse is two divided by opposite side is. Root three. Now x lies in third quadrant. Then what is cosecant x? Cosecant x is negative. So 
cosecant x is minus 2 divided by root 3. Now we will see what is secant x. Secant x equal to. As per the definition, secant x is defined as hypotenuse divided by adjacent side. Hypotenuse is 2 divided by adjacent side is 1. Secant x as x lies in third quadrant, what you will say about secant x? Secant x is negative. So this is minus 2 divided by 1 which is same as minus 2. Therefore, we calculated the values of other 5 trigonometric functions by using given information.